and they actually held us from that point. So um, they pull the trigger, nothing happens, and then you say, is there something wrong with your weapon or can you not afford bullets? Yeah, that, that didn't go over very well. That pissed them off. So uh, they tuned me up for that. Why did you do that, though? I got annoyed. Besides, the only time I got any visitors were when these guys would come over and either beat me or question me. So I'd get bored. What was a typical day like in captivity? You just had to go somewhere else in your mind. There's nothing to do. You're in a lot of pain. I'm in handcuffs, and the handcuffs are behind my back. And I'm kind of laying on my shoulder and my knee. And my knees are also in handcuffs, not shackles, mind you, handcuffs. Um, so you're just in a lot of pain. And the only way that I could deal with the pain was to go somewhere else in my head. I would imagine being at home, doing the same thing I would do every day. Get up, have breakfast, um, watch a little TV, go have a meal, go to the gym. And I'd actually try to go through the motions in my head as if I'm actually doing it. And that's what would help me go uh, past time. And I also kept track of time by the Adan. The Adan of the call the prayer would happen. There's about six or seven different mosques that surrounded the area that we were in. So every time the Adan would go by, I would count every dawn, and that's how I would know how many days that we were going. 